I'm gonna get you. Multimedia misfit. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. You can't get me, you masturbating screenager. All skeletons, please report back to your stations. Get out in the hall and get back to work. You want to keep your hands off those monitors?
B or virtual reality? That is the question. We are the moon ants, we do the work. We are the moon ants, we love the dirt. I keep having this dream where I feel like I'm floating on a stage. We will win. We will fight for our right to win. <laughs> I could have been a contender if I only had a mind of my own. Was I sent out here? Why am I being punished? Can you help me get out of here? I want to go back to my friends. You're me. You just like punishing people. I don't know why you put me here. What did I ever do to you? I don't like it down here. I'm scared. Please help me. It's too dark down here. What do you mean we all look alike? Hey, hey, too much, too much, too much, too much.
you, Richard? Far out, man. Like, death is such a trip. I mean, I really dig it, man. This feeling, oh, man, this empty, useless feeling. This is kind of, like, cool, man. I'm into this, man. You know, like, uh, I like it. I like it. Just, uh, where I'm at. If you were the teacher, you would do what differently? What would you change? I'd let kids do whatever they want. Who are you, buddy? Chris. Chris who? Tashi. Okay. What's your background? How long have you been going to school here? I've been going to school here since third grade. Yeah, you like this school? A little. What don't you like about it? Uh, the work. The work? You yeah. think you just come here and lounge around all day? Yep. Like a health club or something? Health spot? Yep. What do you think you are in school then? Uh, to learn. To learn what? Nothing. Nothing? In your case, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you think you'd be doing when you're an adult? <laughs> making money. Making money doing what? How are you going to be making this money? You Working. You're going to be stealing, mugging me on the street if I'm an old man. <laughs> what bothers you the most about what's going on in the world? The future of the kids. What do you think the future of the kids is going to be? Ugly world. Ugly world? What do you yes. mean by an ugly world? Pollution. What else? Uh, Death, destruction? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Kind of like that, huh? Mm -hmm. You could be anybody else, who would you want to be? You wouldn't want to be me, would you? No. Well, who else would you want to be? President. President of who? 
president of what? Poland? Russia? No, Czechoslovakia? The no, 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 I, I would be uh, like the ruler of the whole world. Yeah? What would you do if you were ruler of the whole world? What would your first declaration be? Okay, uh, d destroy all the schools. Destroy all the schools? Yep. And what would you do with all the kids running the, run the streets? Uh, make them do work. What kind of work? Slave work or something? Yeah. If I was a teacher, I would. Give no homework and play all day. Play all day? Is it what the teachers do all day? Is play all day? Nope. What do teachers do all day? Uh, yeah. I spent a year of my life tutoring sixth graders at Gray Elementary School in Chicago. It was quite a rewarding experience. Most of the children were a joy to work with. Some of them could really challenge you. With a sense of humor, and by treating them as equals, I managed to survive. The Chicago public school system is generally regarded as one of the worst in the country. There was one Mac LC2 computer for 37 students in this classroom. Do you think that's going to prepare them for the next century? There's obviously a lack of resources and a lack of funding in the Chicago public school system. You can throw around all the numbers that you want, but to me these children are real people whose futures I actually care about. Click interviews if you want to meet some of them. Okay, who are you? My name is Eloy Negron and I'm 11 years old. Okay. How long have you been going to school here? How long? For six years. I mean. Six years at this school? Yes. No. One year in this school and five, five years in the other school. Do you like this school better than the other school? Yes. How come? Because you know, they have a lot of activities. The other school was boring. The other school was boring? Mm -hmm. uh, is your family from the U.S.? No. Where are they from? From, from Puerto Rico. From Puerto Rico? Why do you think you are in school? So I can get an education and be somebody. What are you going to be when you grow up? I think I'll be a basketball player or an artist. What kind of artist would you want to be? Probably a... Portrait artist. Portrait artist? Uh, what concerns you most about what is happening in the world? Today's society. Huh? Today's society. Today's society. Today's society, what's wrong? It's bad. It's bad? In what ways? Gangs, drugs. Gangs, drugs? Adults don't understand me because... The way I speak and act. Can't hear you. The way I speak and act. They don't like the way you speak? No, they can't understand you. They can't understand you because they don't understand your language, your lingo? Okay, who are you? I'm a girl. My name is Evelina. Are you really a girl? Yes. And your name is who? Evelina. Evelina? And uh, how long have you been in uh, the U.S.? Three years. Three years? And where did you originally come from? Poland. Do you like the U.S. better than Poland? Yes. What's the difference between the two? It's like more fun. More fun? Yeah. Where would you prefer to live, America or Poland? Yeah. Okay. And why do you think you are in school? To get more smarter than I am. As smart as me someday? <laughs> what do you think you're going to be doing when you're older? I'm going to be a singer, dancer, and I'm going to be a model. How do you think you're going to reach those goals? How are you, you going to become a dancer or a model or something? What are you going to have to do? I'm going to go to school. Go to a school, Lord. performing arts school yeah. or something? Lord. And what bothers you the most of what's going on in the world today? Pollution and gangs. And Pollution and gangs? And if you could be anybody else, who would you want to be? Myself. Do you want to be yourself only? That's a good answer. Complete the sentence. Adults don't understand me because... Because, like, when I do some work, like, clean my room, and I get tired, so I go watch TV. They call me to do more stuff because they think that I'm not tired because I'm young. Okay. They think you're not tired because you're young. You don't think yeah, you need they, time for yourself. And all. Yeah, like, they do saying that they do more work, and they're not, they're tired. So they're supposed to, like, watch TV. I'm supposed to do more work because I'm young. Okay. If you were the teacher, what would you do different? I do, like, at lunchtime, Everybody can go whatever they want, do whatever they want. Who are you? Hector. Hector who? Ramos. Hector Ramos? Okay, how'd you end up at the school? Um, I came. You came? Yeah. What, you came by an airplane or something? <laughs> no. 
Bus? Yep. Motors of bus? No. Motorcycle? <laughs> no bus. Were you always going to school? Yep. Really? Since first grade? Kindergarten. And the teacher still talking? Not all of them. Huh? Not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what kind of a background do you have? Where'd you, where's, uh, where, where were you born? Chicago? Yep. Your family? All your family born in Chicago? No. Where's your family born? Mexico. Mexico? Yeah. And your father was born? Your mother? Yep. And you came, uh, you know when they came to the U.S.? Yeah. When? In the 70s. The 70s? Okay. What do you think you're going to be doing when you're an adult? When you're my age? I'm working. You're working where? Um, as a baseball player. A baseball player? Really? You, can, you really think you're going to be a major league baseball player? Yep. You convinced? Are you the best player in the room already? Can you hit no. the ball far? Yep. What happens if for some reason you break the leg or something and you can't make it as a major league baseball player? I'll work. Doing what? Fixing things. Fixing things like what? Plumbing? TVs? No. Cars? Yeah, TVs. Okay. If you could be anybody else, who would you want to be? Michael Jordan. Huh? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan? He's not a baseball player. So? Complete this sense. Adults don't understand me because... They're dorks. <laughs> who are you? Janaira. Janaira who? Nixon. How long have you been going to school here? Ever since I was in kindergarten. What do you think of this school? I think this school is nice. What would you do to make it nicer? Tell kids, quit fighting, quit picking on other kids. You feel kids pick on you? Huh? You feel children pick on you? No. But you see other kids picking on other kids. Okay? Like Brian. Like Brian. Okay. What do you think you're going to be doing when you're an adult? Um, when you're growing up? I'll probably be a uh, beautician. Beautician? Like hairdresser? Okay. What bothers you most of what's going on in the world today? People beating each other. Wars and the stuff that's going on in California. Okay, uh, the whole Rodney King thing and the riots and stuff that bothers you a lot? Yep. If you could be anybody else in the world, who would you want to be? Uh, Miss Van Pelt. Miss Van Pelt? Why would you want to be Miss Van Pelt? Because I want to see how I feel to be a teacher for two days. Okay, adults don't understand me because. I'm beautiful. My name is Nancy Medina Villanueva. How long have you been going to school here? Three months, is it? Three months? You like yeah. the school better than your other school? Yeah. How come? The people, the teachers, the rules, and I don't have no problems here. You get along with everybody here? Mostly. Mostly? Why do you say only mostly? Well, because not all of them, because the way I dress, the way I look, the way I am, the way I walk out, everything is different. So what? people just don't like me because of the way I am. Why do you no. think that? Because the way they look at me or they talk behind my back. So uh, are your parents or your family, are they from uh, the U.S.? No, my mom's Colombian and my real dad's Puerto Rican. Okay, and how long have you been in the U.S.? My mom's been here... My mom's been here 21 years and my dad, my stepdad, I don't... I have no idea. My dad. And why do you think you are in school? I think for me, if I don't have an education, how am I supposed to get a good job and be someone in this world? Okay, what, what kind of a job do you think you'll have? What do you think you'll be doing? Right? Well, I want to be a professional model. Professional some model? People, yeah. To so some people it might be funny, but not to me. I, I mean, I like, you know, the, I like traveling around the world and meeting, meeting new people. And why uh, do you ever think of being a fashion designer instead? Yeah, I both? Yeah. To, to protect his models can be treated very roughly. Yeah, I like I like clothes a lot. Clothing. Okay. And what could bother you most most about what's happening in the world? Air pollution and so much people dying all over the world. Okay. And if you could be anybody else, who would you want to be? Myself. Okay. And complete the sentence. Adults don't understand me because... Um, I think that's false. My parents understand me very well. And other adults, I make them, you know, see how I feel. And it's easy for me to talk to them. Okay. So. If I was a teacher, I would... 
have an ulcer. Huh? Have an ulcer. Have an ulcer? Yes. What do you think of the boys, sir? They're all taken, but they're cute. They're all taken? Step one, which is mine now. <laughs> Tell me who you are. I am Rachel Carmen. Okay, and uh, how long have you been going here to Grace School? Six years. You like it here? I love it. Uh, what do you love about the school? Uh, it's great. I know everyone. Um, you get along with everybody? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you think you're here at school? Why do you think adults make children go to school? Education. What, what's it, what, what does education mean to you? Uh, job. Jobs, okay. Why do you think, what do you think you'd be doing when you're an adult, when you're growing up? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to be a lawyer. Want to be a lawyer? Mm -hmm. What concerns you most about what's going on in the world today? What bothers you the most? Starvation. Starvation? Starvation where? Chicago? Somalia, Africa? Everywhere. Everywhere? Mm -hmm. well, what would you do to change that? I wish I had money to send them food. Huh? I wish I had money to send them food. Yeah, you get money to send them food? Uh -huh. We all do. If you could be anybody else in the world, who would you want to be? Um, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson? <laughs> You'd have Michael as your brother then. Yeah. I would claim him though. Huh? I you claim really want to be Janet Jackson? With anybody? Okay. Answer your legal sets. Adults don't understand me because... I don't get along with them. Why, why do you think they, you don't get along with them? Because um, they probably think that I am smart when I'm the way I talk. Yeah. Do they expect you to act like a yeah. subservient role? You know what I'm like, you know, I'm not the boss and you're the yeah. chef. And you rather be treated as an equal? Or? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. If you were the teacher, what would you do differently? I just do a great job. I don't know what I would do. If somebody, if I just says Rachel, take over the class, what would you do the first week? Um, change seats. Change seats? <laughs> change seats from what to what? Uh, um, make them fit. Actually, boy, girl, boy, girl. Really? Yeah. Which boy would you want to sit next to? No one! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mila Hassanet. So, how'd you end up here at Grace School? Well, we had to move. See, someone bought our house. We were renting this apartment, uh -huh. and someone bought it, and they wanted to kick us out because they wanted their family, the whole family, to live in that flat. So we moved here, ended up here. Like I'm gonna transfer better? again. Yeah, I like it better. You like better? Why? Yeah, because it's bigger. You change classes. Okay, but do you think you're learning? Do you think like yeah, you're learning I've, last year I've known. Yeah. yeah. See, every year I take I take subjects like math stuff, and I forget it. The next year I wouldn't know nothing. My head, I'd go blank. Head's ready to explode. <laughs> I'd go blank. I don't remember anything. Glad that you would not like your head exploding on this nice clean floor. <laughs> okay, so what do you think you're going to be doing when you're, when you're, when you're 30, when you're an adult? When you're well, all educated and you I'm, make your own decisions? Well, I, I think I'd be married by then and have um, be a lawyer. Be a lawyer? <laughs> you going to sue me if you're your bad tutor? <laughs> yeah, for making my whole life miserable. Adults don't understand me because... They don't understand because... They, they're so uptight. What do you mean by uptight? <laughs> they're, they, they don't know what you're like going through, how much people are putting so much pressure on you and stuff. Do you think a doll, no doll is ever 12 or they always come up, before? Yeah, but it's different from then and now. Why? Because. When when they were well, kids, back then we they were caves, boring right? little children. We lived in caves, right? <laughs> what they thought was fun is like, Playing games with your family <laughs> because they they don't understand like when you want to go out and have fun and something they're always caught up with their own problems and stuff. Do you, do you think you can be responsible as a 16, 17 year old instead of a 12 year old? It depends about what's about. Like if it's about babysitting, yeah. But if it's about taking care of the house while you're gone, I can do that. But like for a month of vacation or something like that. Okay. It depends what it's about. If I was a teacher, if you were the teacher, what would you do? <laughs> Differently. <laughs> Cancel <teacher>. school. <laughs> I do what the teachers are doing right now. I think they're doing a fine job. <laughs> now, what would you say to say that the tape less, was off? Le less homework. Less a little homework. less homework. How are you going to learn? Because, no, it's, uh, when it comes to homework, when I'm at school and doing the work, I can finish it just like that. But when I'm at home, I take my time, and it takes me all night to do it. I swear to God, one subject that finishes taking three hours. Who are you? Veronica. Veronica who? Horacious. 
Okay. And <laughs> every time you say your name, is a bell clock? No. No. How long have you been going to school here? Great. My first year. Your first year? And uh, do you like this school better or your other school better? This school. And why do you like this school better? I don't really like private schools. Oh, you went to a private school? Yeah. What's the difference between a public school and a private school? Well, I had to wear a uniform. You had to wear a uniform? Mm -hmm. like here? Yeah. You could just dress wherever, wherever way you want? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think you are in school? I mean, why do you think uh, adults make children go to school? So they could study and get a good job. Okay. And what do you think you're going to be doing when you're older? As far as a job is or a career? I think a doctor. A doctor? You can operate on people? Yeah. <laughs> so if you were a doctor in a hospital and uh, Hector came in an ambulance, would you work on it? No. Okay. Uh, would, uh, what about Evelina? Would you work on her? Yeah. Help her out? What bothers you the most about what's going on in the world today? Yeah. Pollution. Pollution? And why is pollution bothering you? Because it's just um, it kills plants and living things or animals. Okay. If you could be anybody else, who would you want to be? President of the United States. President of the United States? Why? Why is that? I don't know. You get to live in the White House and have a lot of money. Have a lot of money, have like an army to back you up. If you were the teacher, how would you do things differently? I would, um, I wouldn't give any that much homework.
End of the line, goofball. I hate to be lost somewhere with you. You can't drive. You got a one-track mind, you know. You probably can't even find your way out of here. Someone once said to me, Mike, you think the world revolves around you. And I answered, only when I'm standing at the North Pole. Why is it that eggs are high in cholesterol and chicken is low? I had so many books overdue from the library, they told me to stay home and start my own branch. Humans drinking cow milk. That's like horses drinking sheep milk. She loves basketball because she's always on the rebound. I usually go where I want, I usually do as I please, but man, this gravity's got control over me. Ideals for CD-ROMs we decided to pass on. Virtual Grandma on me. The Mayo Clinic, patients who didn't survive. Erotica, two-dimensional stimulation for one-dimensional minds. <laughs> Spaceship Warjack, the Arnold Schwarzenegger story. <laughs> the 777th guest lost on Mist Island.
Disney characters who never made it to the big screen. Singing is very nice, don't egg me on to sing it twice. Chicken or the egg, chicken or the egg, chicken, chicken. Cock the doo 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 Don't fry me in the morning. You're clicking around like your head's cut off. Chirpa, 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 chirpa.
Fish fry! Tasty! Blah! Civilizations. Many bow down to phrases as sharp as a guillotine. While in the background, the ear splitting soundtrack of supernatural silence continues. continues. Death is the answer for the questions we have asked about the time we will spend in the future that has passed. You're real smarty, aren't you? Four, three, two, one. Pop goes the weasel. That tickles. me. Bye, bye. You want to keep your paws off that light switch?
You're real smarty, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're real smarty, aren't you? <laughs> You're real smarty, aren't you? <laughs> You're real smarty, aren't you? get you. I'm gonna get you. 35 cents, please. Please deposit 35 cents. You better pay up or we're gonna... Boy, am I hungry. Hey, you kids! That's not the way to go in there! They're good to look at, they're fun to eat. They're chocolate sculpties, but not too sweet. Don't go in there. Look what happened to me. Don't you touch me. <laughs> Bum-ba-bum-ba-bum-ba-dum-ba-bum-ba-bum-ba-dum-ba-bum-ba-dum-ba-bum-ba-dum-ba-bum-ba-dum-ba-bum-ba-dum-ba-bum-ba-dum-
I knew I should have brought my surfboard. <laughs> hey, I'm a dive bomber! One, two, one, two... turn right, you can turn left, you can step forward, step backwards, move at an angle, or you can just click on... The museum was designed as simply a place to explore. No smoking is allowed on the premises. <laughs> Those archaeologists have always got their hands all over me. Don't touch me. Yeah. Take a chance with random access. Do you know where you're going? I'm stuck inside my skin. Let me out! Let me out! Whee! This is fun! Ooh.